Welcome everybody to this workout. We're going to be discussing core today. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six exit. No, excuse me. Nope. Right. Yeah. Got it. Six exercises for this one. It's going to be a long one. So you got two single exercises. Then you've got your trip set. Then you've got your fourth exercise at the very end. So that is going to be one triple set and three single sets all put together for this workout. This one should be right around an hour. So let's get to it. First exercise, farmer walks with a sandbag. Now, farmer walks, I always do with one hand. I don't do uh, both hands for farmer walks. I find that it's just a little bit, well, first of all, it's a different exercise. If I'm trying to target the obliques, which in this case I am, you always wanna do unilateral, meaning one hand is activated, one hand is passive. You are not going to be carrying the same amount of weight in each hand. I find that it's most efficient to overload one side and make the other oblique work just as hard to keep your posture upright. And that's the most important thing with farmer walks keep your posture upright as you walk spine is straight very important to remember second exercise pure torque cable rotation you can get the pure torque cable attachment from puretorque.com uh, this is the Tyreek Hill model it's an incredible uh, transverse plane movement type of an attachment there are less and less of these on the market, I've noticed. This one is the best I've ever found. I throw this into Corday, I would say at least every three to four months. It's just very common. It's just a great attachment, makes it very, very powerful in your rotation. And that's ultimately what we want from the core is a lot of power in rotation, especially if you're a sports coach or somebody involved in athletics, you're going to be using this type of movement on the regular. So best to be strong while doing it. Next, we have our trip set. We have... The color chase game with the stealth fitness core board, the soldier sit-ups, and then the cable crunch. So starting up with the stealth fitness core board, you'll see that it says uh, 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 co uh, color chase stealth, in parentheses stealth. Stealth is for stealth fitness. So stealthfitness.com is where you can get this. It's a yellow plank board. It looks like a little spaceship, honestly. It's very fun. It coordinates with an app that goes on your phone. The app provides a game, in this case, Color Chase, and I do this for 60 seconds. So when I go into the game, you select interval and you go to time. You want to choose time instead of just playing because then it'll go on forever. Choose 60 seconds, see what kind of a score you can get on the game. That's the exercise. Second exercise, soldier sit-ups. So soldier sit-ups are going to be done on a bench or a block or something where you're a little bit elevated off the ground. A bench really does work the best, I think. For this, you're going to be doing essentially a combination of a crunch followed by a V-up, and it's one after the other. So it's crunch with the knees bent, V-up with the knees straight. This is hitting the core in two different ways, but it is really just the same type of flexion extension movement in your abdominals over and over and over again. But you will notice the difference between trying to do the V-ups, which definitely have a lot more hip flexion involved, and doing the crunch, which is primarily just abdominal flexion. When you do these two together, back to back, it's a killer exercise, especially being right here in the middle of the trip set. Last, we have the cable crunch. Cable crunch is... Definitely the most overloading exercise out of this workout for the abdominals. You're going to have a weight stack. You're really going to push this to the nth degree here. You're going to want to load up as much as you possibly can. Get it in there and make sure that you are dead by the end of that triple set. So that's for that. Last, we have the sandbag carries. Now, this is for whatever you have left in the tank. And this is a, honestly, it's a heavy exercise, but it doesn't really involve anything other than standing and walking. So you're going to get a sandbag. You're going to want to get yourself like an Atlas stone or an Atlas stone sandbag, something that's overloaded. Like you need to have, if you're a guy, most likely between 50 to 75 pounds or more in your hand, you're going to give it a big bear walk and you're going to walk in a straight line. Now for me, I do this in intervals of 20 yards. That's how long my strip is in my backyard. You're going to want to go at least 40 yards per repetition. So if I'm going there and back, that to me is one rep. You're going to want to do this and it is designed to overload the rectus spinate, the back, a little bit of the abdominals. It's, 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 there's no way to pretend that they're not going to get involved, especially after having just done five exercises that are all going to hit the abdominals. If you do sandbag carries, your abs are going to be involved. But carries, as I mentioned in the beginning, are very, very unique in strength training. They're very, very functional. We do this type of stuff on the regular. It makes no sense that we don't train it when we go into the gym. You and I carry things everywhere we go. If we're going to the airport, if we're loading into the car, if we're doing anything like that, we carry things and they always end up being kind of in the front in our hands, around our arms, and we put them around our chest or we carry them with our body as best we can. This exercise is very functional for that. Even if you're not doing 50 to 75 pounds, make sure you do the carry. So that's the workout. You guys have fun.